four, proceed to objective one to describe the demography of the student based on gender, race, hometown, admission, qualification, CGPA and salary. Okay. First, race of students in SQS 1033 classes. Based on pie chart, the biggest race of students SQQS 1033 classes is Chinese with 36%. The smallest race of students is Indian with 14%, while the Malay students are 39% and the other race students are 31%. So, from the pie chart, Chinese is the most students who shows their more attitude towards statistics followed by Malay, others and Indian. Gender of students SQQS 1033 classes. Based on figure 2, the frequency of female students in SQQS 1033 is higher than male students. The percentage of female students is 68.7%, meanwhile the male student is 31.3% in the classes. So we can conclude that the students who study in SQQS 1033 is majority the female. State of students' classes. Based on figure 3, the maximum state of students that attitude towards statistics is from Perak, meanwhile the minimum is from Perlis. Meanwhile, from C state, the data almost same, which is 177 from Pahang, Penang, Sarawak, Selangor, and 178 from Johor and Melaka. Admission qualification of students' classes. From figure 4, admission qualification students from the SQQS1033 classes are mostly from STPM graduation, which is 57.2%. Why 14.3% of students that study at classes are from matriculation and 14.2% are from diploma. Besides that, from STEM, leavers are 7.2% and for others only 7.1%. So we can infer that SQQS1033 courses mostly consist of STPM students. Plus, the most student which CGPA 3.04 to 3.20 got salary between 9,375 to 10,349 compared to the student which lower CGPA 2.02 to 2.18 got the salary between 1,575 to 2,549 So from this bar graph, we can conclude almost students who got the CGPA more than 3.04 will got the salary higher than 5,475 And we proceed to the next objective, objective 2 Objective 2 is to identify and interpret relationship between CGPA and SPN MAT SPN and MAT, SPN English, MUAC, total semester Total semester test status, working status, working acceptor, type of work, working experience, and salary. Between CGPA and SPM Mac. Based on the scatter plot above, we can conclude that the overall shape of the relationship is linear. The trend between CGPA and SPM Mac is negative trend, meaning that if the student got the lower grade of SPM Mac, so the CGPA tend to get lower. We can say that the student got higher in CGPA most probability excellent in their SPM MAC grade. The relationship between SPM MAC and CGPA is weak relationship between the point are scattered further from the imaginary line. So the conclusion is we can say that CGPA influenced by the SPM MAC grade since the SQQS more involved the mathematical process. Between CGPA and SPM MAC. Based on the scattered plot above, we can conclude that the overall shape of the relationship is linear. The trend between CGPA and SPN and MAC is negative trend, meaning that if the student got the lower grade in SPN and MAC, so the CGPA tend to get lower. We can say that the student got higher in CGPA, most probability excellent in their SPN and MAC grade. The relationship between SPM MAC and CGPA is strong relationship because the points are scattered near to the imaginary line. So the conclusion is we can say that CGPA influenced by the SPM and MAC grade since the 
as GPS more involved in mathematical process also. Between CGPA and English, based on the scatter plot above, the overall shape of the relationship is linear. The trend between CGPA and SPN English is negative trend, meaning that if the student got the lowest grade in SPN English, most probability the CGPA tend to get lower, but some with some effort, the student can improve their English in order to get the higher CGPA. The relationship between SPN English and CGPA is strong relationship because the points are scattered closer to the imaginary line. So the conclusion is we can say that English is not really the factor for the student for getting the higher CGPA. So now the relationship between CGPA and what? The scatter plot of, uh, is visual way to show the relationship between two quantitative variables. So we can conclude that the overall shape of the relationship is linear. The trend between CGPA and MOET is positive, meaning that if MOET gets larger, larger CGPA tend to get larger. We can infer that the student got higher band in MOET will got higher CGPA. Based on the table above, we can say the correlation for these two variables is 0 0.603, meaning that is strong positive linear relationship between MOET and CGPA. Is the relationship between CGPA and total semester. Based on scatter plot, we can conclude that the, the shape of relationship is linear. The trend between CGPA and total semester is negative relationship between CGPA and total semester. That means when the CGPA is increased, the total semester will decrease. Based on the table, the correlation coefficient for these two variables is zero, negative 0 0.639. Relationship between CGPA and total semester sectors. There are three outliers which located at the total semester sectors of extent in related to CGPA in this box plot. The box plot of extent skip to the right, while the box plot of fast track and graduate on time skip to the left. By expanding the outlier, the smaller ITR obtain the fast track plot by extent and graduate on time. So, the another word we can say that the fast track student has the smaller differential compared to other between CGPA and working sector. Based on the first plot, the shape of distribution for NA and public are skipped to the right, while on and private are skipped to the left. By looking at 50% of the first plot body, we can assume the public working sector more dispersed compared to NA on and private. CGPA and working sectors. Based on the relationship between CGPA and working sectors, yes has the range larger than no, which is 1.94. Based on the table above, the IQR of yes is higher than IQR for no, that means it's the smallest distribution between two variables. The shape of distribution of yes is skipped to the right, while no is skipped to the right. GPA and working experience. Based on the scatter plot above, the shape of relationship is linear because it's scattered about a line with zero slope. We can infer that working experience of students in SKS doesn't influence by CGPA. The relationship between CGPA and working experience is weak. Plot above, we can conclude that the negative one is outlier and we can choose to use non-parametric analysis. From the table above, by reference to payment and correlation coefficient, it shows that the relationship between two variables is 0 0.378 meaning that it also in weak positive relationship but there are outliers at level of work 3 lecture by the excluding the outliers the worst 25 percent the first quarter so students from michelin has got the lowest cgpa which is below than 2.50 followed by executive and director below 3.00 students and an na be below than 3.5 teachers and lecturer below 4.00 Objective three. To identify and interpret relationship between salary and gender, total semester, working sector, part of work, and working experience. Relationship between salary and gender. Based on the graph, the 50% of the salary for males and females is approximately same, which is above 7,000. But the average salary of males is higher than females. 
this show that the dispersion of salary for both male and females are almost the same. So the salary is not depend yes. by gender. Okay, relationship between salary and level of work. Based on the first plot, the first 25% children who get a salary higher is becoming to the director, while the worst 25% is initially less. Type of work for director, and A and student is keep to the right, while executive, lecturer, disciplinary, and teacher is a personal selective distribution. So, the salary and level of work depend each other. So on the scatter plot, we can compute that there are outliers for students who graduate in seven semesters for a little point. The trend of the graph is decrease is decreasing trends. When total semester increase, the salary is decreased. The graph is no linear shape and have moderate association. So total semester is not depend by the salary as PKS for zero to three students. The reading value for students rank is negative zero point five one seven. So that means the relationship between total semester and salary is weak negative relationship. We proceed to the relationship between salary and working experience. For salary and working experience, there are 93 missing value. We include the missing value which negative one because it is significant to show the relationship between these two variables. Due to this missing value, we consider it as the outlier and we choose to use non-parametric analysis. For the spermer rank correlation coefficient, it, so, it shows that the relationship between two variables is 0 0.368, meaning that this is in weak positive relationship. Relationship between salary and working sector. The IQM for NA is 4.425, own is 1,200, private is 2,400, and public is 1,400. The shape of distribution for the NA and public are split to the right, while for the old, private and public are approximately skewed with a few outliers.